join us. It's about some mean person who calls themselves August the Duck. Well, guys, the day has finally come. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. You read that title correctly. As of recording this, a few hours ago, that vegan teacher decided to respond to me. And boy, was it disappointing. You see, I went into this video, I think, fairly expecting, you know, a response. What was advertised in the thumbnail and the title. But I watched the video and, uh, well, that's not even kind of what it was. I thought this was going to be a genuine response. I mean, it would have made sense because because I've recently made a video on that vegan teacher. I thought she was going to present some genuine discourse, actually respond to what I was saying, maybe answer some of the questions I asked. You know, questions like if she genuinely believes that if we stopped eating animals that one day the animals would disappear. Yeah, I'm not joking by the way, she actually said that. But all it was, was really her just using my name to title one of her videos essentially. She started the video like it was going to be an actual response to me, and then she followed it up by just playing the same documentary footage she's shown a million times. Which, I mean, really is fine. I don't care that she's using my name or trying, I guess, to clickbait people into thinking she's talking about me. I really don't think I'm that hot of a topic, so I don't know if she's going to get what she's wanting out of this. But, I mean, it's YouTube. Everybody uses other people's names to get views. When people talk about that vegan teacher, myself included, they're using her name in the title to get views from people who want to watch videos about that vegan teacher. I mean, it's just how it works. But let's stop worrying about the semantics of titling a YouTube video and look at what she actually did have to say to me in her quote response. Please subscribe. Hello students. Welcome to class. Today's video is for people who are 18 years old and over because YouTube does not want younger people to know where their food comes from. Um, call me crazy, but I think that maybe these videos are getting age-restricted because, you know, you include videos of animals being slaughtered. I don't think YouTube is in cahoots with big meat or anything like that. You know, trying to prevent the world's youth of knowing what goes on on a farm. I think they just don't want to show that stuff. It's also not monetized, because society in general is cruel and want to keep eating meat cheese and eggs and pretend that they are not part of the murder they pay for. Um, no, once again, I'm gonna disagree there. I'm pretty sure that most people when they go to the grocery store and they're buying a steak or buying some chicken, they are pretty well aware that it came from a dead animal. I don't know of many people who are thinking their meat just spawns in somehow. I think they know what they're paying for. This video is my response to a lying and willfully ignorant YouTuber for being racist towards the animals and vegan phobic towards those who try to defend them. Once again, gonna have to stop you right there. You know, I don't even think a human being could have thought of this sentence like five years ago. I mean, come on, are we being serious here, Katie? I'm racist towards the animals and I'm vegan phobic? No, I'm not. I truly do not care whatsoever if somebody is vegan or not. I have people who are very close to me that I love who are, guess what, vegetarian and vegan. And really, I'm racist towards the cows and chickens. That's just called the food chain, Miss Katie. It's just the way the world goes. Like, for example, if a bear ate me in the wilderness, sure, I would probably take it personally in the moment, but I think in the grand scheme of things, I would likely end up understanding where he's coming from. So after that, it's just documentary footage, nothing whatsoever to do with me at all. You know, showing the cruelties that go on in factory farms, which I've agreed upon multiple times is an issue. But since I doubt she actually watched any of my videos, I don't think she understands she's preaching to the choir. You can watch literally any of the videos I've made on that vegan teacher, and you will find find me talking about the farming system in America, and really the world as a whole, needing to be reworked. Now the only other thing where she really mentions me is this TikTok where she's advertising the video, and she says something kind of silly. Got a new video going up right now on That Vegan Teacher over on YouTube. The comment section's open and lively. Come and join us. It's about some mean person who calls themselves August the Duck. We'll review that pretty soon. Come and join us. That Vegan Teacher YouTube, right? I mean, this is really just some school ground stuff. Calling me a mean person for doing what? Calling out your hypocrisies and your inaccuracies? Keep in mind that this is the same woman who said that if we stopped eating meat, one day all the animals would disappear. I'm not joking. Just so you know, here's the clip. To stop eating animals and gradually over time, they will fade out of existence and we can eat plants. Plants have protein. 
They really do. I mean, that 10 second clip is such a rabbit hole that we could go down. I don't know what that vegan teacher's understanding is of animals, but I'm starting to think she might believe that they're on the planet for us to eat them. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how else you could make a statement like that without thinking that. Does she think we made the animals or something? I really don't know. But what I do know is that it's time to listen to a vegan teacher original. The song she used to close out my, once again, quote, response video. Okay, you know, I actually kind of wish I didn't play that now because that has opened up a whole new can of worms. If the animals are not here for us, then why are they going to disappear if we stop eating them, vegan teacher? I need an answer. Seriously, I'm not even joking. I got excited when people sent me the response video because I thought I was going to get an answer for that. I mean, you've got to think she just misspoke, right? Because if not, I just... I just don't know what she could have possibly meant by that. I know I'm going on and on about this, but seriously, why would the animals disappear if we stopped eating them? I don't get it. All right, so now that we've seen, or heard one of the greatest songs ever made, I want to pose some genuine questions to that vegan teacher. Katie, if you ever see this, I would like you to answer these since you've already made one fake response video to me. Might as well bite the bullet and make a real one, right? I would like to know what you actually think would happen if everybody decided to go vegan. I know that's not realistic and I'm sure you know that, but that's the ideal goal, right? For everyone on the planet to not be eating meat anymore. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I'm not trying to be condescending. I am genuinely asking you these questions. Do you not think that overpopulation would be a problem? Did you misspeak or do you genuinely think that for some reason if we stopped eating meat animals would disappear? And then another big question, do you actually think your methods are changing people? Do you think that constantly harassing people and calling out these people and trying to just guilt people into being a vegan is ever going to work? I mean, believe it or not, I agree with a lot of the stuff that you say. You might not believe me. I don't really care. For example, I watched the documentary Earthlings in high school, and it was a genuinely moving documentary. Also, believe it or not, I've watched every single documentary you try to get people to watch. I like to be informed about things, and where my food comes from is one of those things. And you are right. I think if a lot of people watch those documentaries, they might come out on the other side being or wanting to be a vegan. Like I've said before, the farming industry is not a great place. Some places are better than others, but as a whole, it really, really needs some work. I consider myself a pretty empathetic person, and whenever I go buy meat at the store or I go to a restaurant, I try to make sure I'm buying from places that are better farms than normal. Do I necessarily love the thought of an animal dying for me to eat? Not really, but I accept that as part of life. If you don't, that's fine, but you have to accept that a lot of people can. Should we as a people try to move towards more humane ways of sourcing our meat? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's something I 100% support. And it's something that I think we should be pursuing a lot more strongly than we are. I said earlier that I think everybody knows that their meat is coming from a dead animal, but I don't think a lot of people know the conditions those animals are coming from. In a lot of parts of the country, they're terrible. And you have a platform to actually spread good information, but the way you go about it is never going to work. Calling people stupid and inhumane and evil if they don't agree with what you're saying, that doesn't work. You can't just claim moral superiority and say that every Everything I say is right, and if you disagree with me, well, then you're evil. Nobody's gonna listen to that, and I can't believe you haven't figured that out yet. So, that vegan teacher, now that I know you're watching my videos, if you ever see this, how about you actually talk to me? You don't just put on the same documentaries you've been putting on for the last two years and play your songs. Talk to other adults, like an adult. Actually explain yourself. It might do you some good. <laughs> Subscribe.